All right, guys, they're playing a Riven top lane, but this time we're playing against a Kale. And I'm going to showcase a build that I haven't used in a long time. We're going to go for Assassin Riven build, uh, specifically referring to the Duskblade build. Um, in short, we have the Conquer Page, Triumph, Alacrity. We got Last End, Nimbus. We also have Transcendence. This matchup can be very, very, very easy. I'll show you. Well, not just can, it is a very easy matchup. You just gotta know exactly how you trade. In general, like, this matchup is, um... It's mostly just all inning. All the time. Just all in whenever you can. Um, only thing that matters in this matchup is that you proc the bone plates from Kale. And that's pretty much it. The, um... Second thing you need to know is that Kale, She can, in theory, kill a Riffin. If she fights with the bone plate. So... As long as she proc it, um, she has no chance. Um, level 6, she has... Oh, whoops. Um, level 6, she has a chance of killing you. Um, obviously, because she can kite you down. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. This matchup is heavily, heavily like a snowball matchup. Ooh, yeah, I think I might... Nice. Good trade. Actually took some damage from the turret, but that's fine because um, we can dive him right now. Oh, smart. She didn't go for it. Okay. I was thinking about double casting her right there and it would definitely kill her, but she could, in theory, flash away. I'm kind of glad I didn't take that. She has the bone plate right now, so I can dive her. Like I said earlier, if she has bone plate, you can't dive because uh, she's too tanky with the bone plating. So we need to proc that first. So I'm staying close to the wave. If she tries to go for the CS, I'll, I'll try and uh, proc it. Oh, seven deadly! You came back with ten euros. Hey, thank you for the ten euros as always, seven deadly. Nice spear. Fortunately, my Q's on cooldown. Hmm. Hmm. I need some, uh, I need cooldowns here. There you go. The, uh, cooldown was a huge problem here. Because it was my Q was on a six second cooldown. Oh, I'm ending. <laughs> I was gonna Q through the cannon. Oh, I even died by Silas. I was gonna Q through the cannon, and you know what the game was thinking? Let's Q to the turret side instead of going through cannon, because the champion was like facing another direction. Sure, man. <laughs> I love when that happens. That's the one thing that I love so much about Riffin, man. Like, your champion's thinking like, okay, you're like going for a cannon. You're literally facing it. You click away and by accident, you don't hit the cannon. Um, your champion, if you're unlucky, it's going to start facing another direction. If you hit your Q in that time, you're going to Q the other way. It's uh, pretty unfortunate. All right. I might go for an all-in here, but it really depends. I need to get the bone plate down from Kale. If we can get the bone plate down, everything is going to be easier. That's the bone plates. If you can just get the bone plating down, that's all right. And now we simply freeze. Hmm. She's staying really far away, so I can't really get to her. I can deny her like a bunch of the XP. Unfortunately, did not hit, but that's alright. 
the thing is, like, we might not actually kill this guy here. Um, but he does end up losing the XP. Like, this XP I'm talking about. It's uh, shoving into me. And Kale has no ways of walking up for the CS. Because I'll just kill her if she does. Um, the longer we can hold this wave, the more, the harder we basically win. Right? If you can deny your opponent a bunch of XP, um, the person will fall behind too much. XP is like one of the most important things. If you get ahead with like a, a couple levels. Nah, it's not here. Um, if, you, if you get ahead with like a couple levels, like... There's no way for, for your opponent to win anymore. If you have item advantage or not, if you have like two level leads, your opponent's not going to win anymore. If it's too much. Okay, perfect. We're getting very close to my item. We're, we're going for a, a Dusk Blade here, so we just need a bit more. Turns out that Kale is roaming now. So what I'm going to do is we're going to be shoving this out. Um, Kale is probably coming back top lane. And in that time, I'm going to see if I can kill her as she is approaching top. I'm pretty sure she's roaming from the jungle, so I can try and kill her in a node now. Aha. Yep. She's Josh right there. Now we just wait. Because the wave is up there. Okay. See what I'm talking about? If your opponent uh, starts roaming after losing the lane pressure, and like it's it's like pushing towards you, what you can do is you can shove the lane, and then you can stop them, prevent them from coming back to lane. That's how you can. Um, that's usually how you can snowball it if if they start roaming. Um, turns out that Silas is still up here. He's going for the jungle camp. He's up there at the moment. I don't think I'm going to fight it because I got too much gold. I'm not going to stay. Sucks for Needly, but it's good for me. Alright, now we get back. You know, like, the best thing about this game is that they got 4 AP. They have a Kale, Silas, TF, and also a Zareth. And Varus is going AD. So they got four champs that are going for AP, which means that we can actually build a Hex Drinker into Maltima Mortius. Um, that's going to that's going to block a lot of damage, as well as giving a lot. Learn from your mistakes. Gonna hide myself in the brush here. Just going for a tiny trade. We proc the bone plating and then we back off again. Now I'm gonna charge my Q again. We're going to be uh, killing her right now. We have a lot of damage because we got the lethality built. So the next all in, I can pretty much kill her before she ults. I think I might dive her. Okay, it's okay if we take a little bit of damage. Does not really matter. Okay, and now she's pretty much dead. I'm just waiting for my combo to get back. And there you go. Now we take a plate, and then we back off. I think I might also... Take the wave. Yep. Whoops. The... It's not the cleanest game for me. It's my first game today. My, my hands are really cold. Rock the bone plates. Back off again. And I'm going to back off here. Choose your own path. 
I think I might be able to kill this guy. Ah, she probably knows that I'm still here. The thing is, like, Kale is unable to move up because she has no vision in the dry bush. Now we get by this. Uh, we're going to go for this one. As well as another long sword. You see what's happening here? Like, Kale has no vision of where I am. She's currently right here. If she walks up, she thinks that she's going to die to me being in the dry bush. So, um... Kind of sucks for Kale, but she can't play lane here. Because I might still be there, you know? So yeah, I, I take this time to buy my next item. And now we're um, even stronger. You see? She's still there. She could move up. She has no vision. She used her only ward that she had. And now, yeah, she's pretty much dead. Chase her down. And there you go. So you kind of get the points. You know why this matchup is uh, so free. If you go Lethality in this matchup, you're going to do even more damage. Because Kale is not going for uh, tank items, obviously. It's a, it's a Kale, right? She's going to go full damage. She'll never have any intention of going armor. Like, unless she's going for Zhonya, which is just... Too unlikely. I will not touch the turret now because I want the wave to go down. Learn from your turret plating will soon fall. Now we grab the turrets. Kale yeah. seems to be roaming again. It seems like she is a very, very tilted. And yeah, now we gotta make sure we actually get my multi Um that, that will fix every problem. Let's try. Yeah, I love it when people play like scaling champions like Kale and then they proceed and start tilting if they lose lane. I believe... Oh, wow. Um, I believe that this guy took Kale into me. I believe. I don't remember for sure. I believe he did. Side step. Oh. Again, I could have killed him too, but I queued the other direction. Ah. Uh huh. I could have killed him too, believe it or not, but if I queued the opposite way, I could have just jumped across the wall and just killed her. But accidentally queued the other way. Um, let's go for. Like I mentioned, we're going to go for this one. And again, the reason why is because we gain uh, magic boosts from it, but also the ability haze damage. It also greatly helps with the build. Okay. Now we're going to be going for mid. Maybe we can dive under tower. Maybe. Not bad. I love those Riffin Qs today, man. <laughs> Three Riffin Qs have gone wrong so far. Just a little bit unfortunate with my Qs. Um, let's go and grab all this. And let's go for this camp here. Your team 
Oh, well, my uh, my mid laners. Uh, I mean, my mid lane is also uh, doing pretty well with the with the jungle. Nice, we also have turret. They can't stop me anymore. I'm way too tanky. I don't look tanky, but I I, I am really really tanky because of the item. Because I still have the uh, the shield. See if I can uh, get something else. Oh, still hits. Wow. The CC is crazy this game. Um, I want to get the jungle camp as well. I think I might go Hydra next, I think. Yeah, let's uh, let's get ourselves high, Joe. When we uh, when we get back, I need a bit more. Whoops. Okay, let's get back. I need like six hundred more, but I'm not going to overstay for six hundred. Not gonna lie, I'm very happy. You want to know why? It's because I actually have a Yumi. Like, the last the last three Riffin games I played, I had Yumi, if I remember correctly. I love Yumi on my team. Let's get next wave. We're also going to get some jungle camps. Thank you. And this camp. Also get that real quick. Ah. Looks like she knows. <gasps> oh, we got the ultimate. Uh, what? Okay. She thought I was... She thought I kept going. Oh, yeah, she is a hundred percent dead. No, never mind. Whew. How should I proceed? <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. A TF ult. I am not gonna lie to you. I did not recognize the TF ultimate until halfway through. That's what I call a pay to win skin. I did not recognize the TF ultimate. I did not see it. I thought like, what is that on my head? What, what, what's floating there? What, what, why are they changing the Twisted Fate ultimate uh, thing? Why are they doing it? I don't get it. What, why are they doing that? Why would they change the TF ultimate? Because people don't recognize it. it that's a, such a pay to win skin in my opinion. It's got nothing to do with, with the skin anymore. They just completely change it. Even the sound has changed.
Oh, wow. That's kind of unlucky. The flash I did on Zareth, when I, when I flashed, I didn't hit my Q yet. I had to do a secondary Q. Ah, they're going for Baron. I see. We don't have Zinzao here, but it's also kind of pointless for him to move now. Okay. Let's see. They will have Baron for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It took them almost a minute to take it. Go bottom. Um, one thing that I need pretty badly is flash. Ah, that's going to be a fight in the uh, topside jungle. I, uh, I have so much difficulty playing Riffin with cold hands, man. Specifically, my fingers are just really cold. Anything else? Hey, that's okay. I'll wait. Oh, let's grab it. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah, see you later, my man. They want me to all in. It's a bait. They they used the plant. Ha ha ha! The CC is taking decades. <laughs> All right, see you later. I'll CC for thirty years. Oh, uh, they have a ward here. I'll leave that be. Man, their team comp is uh, pretty disgusting. But that's easy fix. Drake spawns in 50. Go back. Oh. <laughs> I can't I can't move for 30 years. <laughs> That's easy. <laughs> oh wow! I can't count the times like or, or like how how many CCs they have. It's way too much. 
The only guy missing CC is Kale, which has a slow, by the way. Um, I think Spear of Shoujin might be a good solution to it. And then replacing Lucidic Boots with uh, Mercs. Mercs makes it a lot more playable. And then like the final item, I think it's going to be a Cerdas Grudge. For the, the slowest as well as more damage for my Spear of Shoujin. There you go. I think that this game is a lot more playable now. Like, no more problems with um, with the CC because I got Mercs and then I also spare Shoujin, so my cooldowns are still very low. Hey. Yeah, that's not hitting. I think what we can try and do is maybe go for a fight here. A Q in advance, because if I get CC'd, it's at least going to go through it. Yep, we have the... Um, we got the Mercs. So too bad for him. Also, Lethalities is great. Give us a life. Oh, whoops. Uh, that's not what I intended. <laughs> oh. Let's see the damage. Uh, 2k damage from Silas. Okay. Let's go for Garage. Unfortunately, I lose all my stacks, but it is what it is. You know, I could have just outplayed Silas very differently, uh, to be honest. Like, when I was up here, and Silas was up here, if I just walk like this, and then Q backwards through this thing here, I could have probably just killed him. Or at least kite him down, probably. Would have been a better solution. Nice. Lost Baron. Actually, wait. Oh, we did lose Baron. Not bad. Not bad. Here, let's go Grudge. Yo, this game is over. It's done. It is done. Check this out. I have my full build, Spear of Shoujin, Mercs, Flash. I have a Yumi on my team. Let me get that Yumi real quick. Got a Yumi on the team. Check this out. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna farm myself a Petta. Hold on. Would have actually been hilarious if I could get a Penta, just by saying it. <laughs> I'm on the way! I got him. I actually get a Penta kill just by saying it! 
<laughs> the timing, dude. <laughs> All right, let's go, man. <laughs> Nice. All right. Either way, this is uh, Riffling Scale. Thanks so much for watching today's uh, pizza bit, and I'll see you next time. Peace.